Al Hecate Phosphoros, bringer of divine light, illuminate my path with your radiant glow. Shine upon the hidden places within me and guide me with clarity through the shadows of doubt. Hecate Lampodius, torchbearer of the realms, you who may light the way through the darkness, walk beside me in times of uncertainty. Protect and guide me with your steady flame as I cross the boundaries of the known and unknown. O Hecate Triodia, goddess of the crossroads, stand with me as I face life's choices. Help me see with wisdom and insight, reveal the paths before me and grant me courage, that I may choose the path that leads to growth and truth. Hail Hecate, bearer of light, keeper of the flame, in your guidance I trust, in your wisdom I grow, and in your light I walk my path. Hi, my name is Renee Olson, and we are here with Cuppa and Cards. Now, it's been a minute since we uh, had our last video. Um, this is October 11th, and we are kicking off the series of Who is Hecate? And this is Insights from the Epitaphs. Um, this series is going to explore three different uh, epithets of Hecate each week for the next six weeks. Um, we are going to draw on their commonality. Um, we're going to connect to their common traits and see how these energies will apply in our lives today. I'm going to be pulling these cards from my deck. Um, this is going to be the Crossroads Oracle. Um, I am going to uh, show you a card and then we're just going to talk about each one. Um, so for today, as you can tell by our entry hymn, we're going to be talking about uh, Phosphorus, Lampodius, and Triodia. Um, our theme basically is going to be around guiding light and the guiding path. That's how these cards connect together. Um, in the description, I'll have the translations or the uh, pronunciations for each one, as well as what they mean. So we'll go ahead and start with uh, Phosphorus. So Phosphorus is the light bringer. Um, and when we think about the light bringer, let me just set my tea down. It is piping hot today. It is piping hot. When we think about Phosphorus, so let me just hold that card up for you. Try to get the glare off of there. So when we think about um, when we think about phosphorus, we're thinking about the light bringer. We're thinking about um, revelations, right? Things that are brought into sight. Um, we're thinking about light and exposure. Those things that you might not normally see. Um, we're talking about the one who sheds her light on the, uh, the information or the path that you're looking to, to journey down. And we're talking about a radiant light that banishes, you know, uncertainty and confusion and allows us to see things that, um, for what they really are, right? So when we're talking about this, we're talking about maybe um, unrevealing or um, removing the blinders from maybe you've got someone in your life who is um, a good talker, let's say. Um, they're able to give you uh, kudos and, and help build you up, but sometimes it's for ulterior motives. So this card or this particular epitaph means, sorry, epitaph is for the bringer of light. It's the shower of the hidden. It's revealing those things. And you're going to call on this particular epitaph when you need clarity, right? So if you need to understand what's happening in your life, or if you need to um, reach out and help build out um, something that you just don't know the answer to. Um, to me, I think that this one is probably one of the most common um, commonly connected to, other than the next one we're going to talk about. This one is one of the most common epithets to work with. Um, she is well known as a light bringer. There are several other light bringers, you know, uh, in the uh, deities of uh, Lucifer comes to mind. Um, but I think that's what she's most commonly known for is the light bringer um, epithet. So that's our first one. And the next one we're going to talk about is uh, Lampodia. 
and I'm probably saying that incorrectly, but it's Lampadios, right? Lampadios. So it's like lamps. So I'm gonna hold this card up for you. And let me just tap this and see if I can see what you see. There we go. Okay. Um, so this one, the key words that I chose for this card are illumination, guidance, and enlightenment. Um, so if you can see from the card, there's the, a light coming from the brow um, that usually signifies like the third eye. Um, when we look at this one, this one is the uh, torchbearer. Um, obviously, well-known epitaph. It's part of the Covenant of Hecate. Um, we have a role in our organization uh, that's called Torchbearer. And what we like to say is that we are shining our light, shining the light of Hecate out, right? We are, we are lighting that flame so others can see it. Um, in, in this instance, um, she carries her torch. So she's traveling through the darkness or so others who are traveling through, through the darkness are able to see what's around them. This could be in a physical or in a spiritual realm. Um, so when you think about this, you're also thinking about the same as we had with the Phosphorus, right? When we're thinking of this card, we're also thinking about um, what is coming to mind, what are, we, what are being revealed, what is um, showing forth. You know, maybe there's something we're not re really ready to face. Maybe there's something in our lives that, that we are not able to, or we're just not ready to come to terms with. She's going to be there with those torches shining brightly to help us see them. Um, and while we're thinking about the phosphorus being more related to like a divine light, right? What we're talking about here is we're talking more about the role as a protector and a guide, right? We're looking at her as that journey through the unknown. So she's has us shielded and she's walking ahead with the torches to make sure that we are taken care of. Um, some of the ways that we can probably work with her is like through transitions of our careers or in relationships. Um, we may want to reach out to her for comfort um, or, you know, to light a, a torch or a candle, if you will, you know, light a candle um, in, our, in our space for spiritual practice and so forth. So we can see how these two are very common, right? So maybe you want to work with Lampodia when you're facing the uh, Lampodius when you're facing a transition, whether it's in your life or in a career or in a relationship. You know, she's there for comfort and courage. Um, and we may want to think about, oh, we may want to think about how we would work with um, Phosphorus as well. So let me just clear my throat here. This one would be um, for uh, illuminating your path. Um, we want to invoke Hecate when we need um, that overarching right that shine down on that divinity coming in so you've got that version and then you've also got the uh, mothering version if you will not to delve into the sotiera or the savior aspect um, but she definitely has these two hand in hand that are very common um, so on this same realm um, with these two where these are talking about enlightening the way or showing you the way we're also going to pull up triodia right and Triodia, so I'm just going to hold this card up for you. All right, and there's that one. Triodia is all about decisions and choices, right? This is going to be more about, this, this epithet is of the crossroads or um, of, the, of the roads, right? Where the paths meet. This is where you go to make your decisions. This is where you, I mean, we have numerous um, myths around things that happen at the crossroads. You're making decisions, you're making deals with the devil, you're meeting Papa Lagba, you are um, coming to terms with what changes you need to make in your life, and this is where that decision is made. Um, so when you're talking about the crossroads in Hecate, she's not there pushing us in any direction, right? She's just there showing us what's there. So much like our showing of the ways through light, she's showing other ways by being at the crossroads. Now some ways to work with Hecate or when you might work with the triodia uh, epitaph would be when there's time to make an important decision. 
Um, maybe you want to create a symbolic crossroads, right? And make your offerings and you can go to an actual crossroads as well. The Sanctuary of Hecate Bremo, we are here at a crossroads. Um, so that was very uh, important to me when selecting the location actually. Um, so those are that, that's kind of where you might want to work with her. Go in a meditative state, work, think about um, creating this crossroads with your, with your tea lights or with your candles. Um, and then you'll be able to call on each one of these uh, aspects or these epithets to work with her. So when you're thinking about these three forms, right? We're talking about the light bearer. We're talking about the, um, we're talking about the light bringer. We're talking about the uh, keeper of the paths or the three ways. Um, when you're thinking about these, you wanna think about working with her as you see Hecate as her ability to guide and protect and illuminate choices in, in at life's crossroads, right? Um, so whether you're seeking clarity or guidance, um, any of these three would be excellent to work with. So as we're thinking about these, uh, these three, um, really what you want to focus on is think about ways like over the next week because we're going to meet again next week and I'm going to pull three more, three more cards for you. Um, when, we're, when we're thinking about these cards for next time or over the week, you want to really think about how can you bring these, these epitaphs or these, es but, uh, these aspects more into your life. Like is it the clarity of phosphorus? Is it the glow of Lampodius, or is it the decision-making of Triodia? How do you bring that more into your life? And as you just move through this week, I invite you to think about these things, whether, whether it's big or small, find a way to pull these in. So we're just gonna go back over them one more time. I wanna show you the Phosphorus. So there's this. And next we have Lampodia. Lampodius, Lampodius. I apologize, my southern and my um, my southern twang has a tendency to turn pretty much anything into cornbread, so I apologize. The last one is Triodia. Um, and those three cards are from the Crossroads Oracle. Um, you can find that on my website if you're interested. And I just wanna let you know that next week on the 18th, we're gonna be pulling more and episode two is gonna be about the guardian of the underworld. So um, we'll be dealing with epithets that are related to that. So I welcome you to um, use the hem that I started out this video with. Um, if you'd like to use that, I will post it in the description. It is available. Um, you can uh, use that in whatever way you feel that might help empower your connection to the goddess. And feel free to leave me comments or if you wanna have discussion about it, you can certainly do that down below. Um, I hope this has been helpful for you and I hope you gained something from it. I look forward to seeing your discussion. I want you to have a glorious day today and have a wonderful weekend and we'll speak again soon. Thank you.